Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lloyd and we are here you guys. This is week number three of our Baltimore Ravens Madden 17 franchise mode series. We are currently 2-0 taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. They are 1-1 one one coming into this game, but we have a huge quarterback issue. We're going to be having Logan Thomas as our starting quarterback because our top two quarterbacks are both injured. So coming into this ball game, hopefully we can just stay afloat a couple more weeks until Joe Flacco comes back. But we're taking on Blake Bortles and this offense of the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have their starting guys pretty much all in place. And you see the first play from scrimmage. They hand this one off to TJ Yeldon. He takes off down the sideline. Absolutely nobody over there. Eventually, Eric Weddle will bring him down, but that is a gain of 35 yards. And then the very next play, this is Julius Thomas who makes that reception. That will make this a third and three. So this is Blake Bortles now dropping back. He's going to find Mercedes Lewis who makes the reception. He will pick up just enough yards for a first down for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So now first and 10, this is Julius Thomas once again making another reception. That will be another first down. But right here, Jacksonville is looking at a third down. They're looking into the end zone. This football will fall incomplete. Jimmy Smith there on the coverage makes a great play on the ball for a second. It looked like he had a chance to make a one-handed interception, but they will end up settling for a field goal. So they're up three to nothing. We are now on offense. Right away, we find Bashar Perriman. He makes that reception right there, making this a third and one. We decide to go to the ground with Justin Forsett, but he is stopped short. We will go three and out on our first possession and have to punt the football back to Jacksonville. So here they come, taking back overall on offense. And this time, they're trying to look for a touchdown. Right away, they find the receiver on the corner route. Right here, it is second and ten. Bortles looking to his right. He's going to find Green, who makes that reception before being pushed out of bounds. Now it is third and five for Jacksonville. Bortles with the deep drop back. The pressure is coming, and eventually he will break out of a sack and then fumble the football. They will fall on it, but they will be forced to punt the football. So now we take over, and now we are under center. First play of the second quarter right here. Logan Thomas rolling out to his right. He decides to keep this one himself, and then he dives out of bounds because I'm still not used to this whole slide, um, the, the new slide button pretty much in Madden. So I hit the square because I'm used to pretty much just hitting the square. But anyway, it is second and five right now. The pressure is coming. We end up throwing this to Steve Smith. He makes the reception and... Jacksonville will be called for a face mask penalty, so that will add on 15 additional yards. First and 10 now, we're going to hand this one up the middle to Justin Forsett. Tries to put a nice juke move on the, uh, on the defender, but he's unable to do it. So right here, it is third and four. We're dropping back. We find Crockett Gilmore. He makes the catch. He picks up a first down, and now it is second and seven right here. But we get hit as we throw the football. That will fall incomplete. Now we're looking at a third and seven. Logan Thomas, he has actual good blocks right now. And eventually, he's going to find Crockett Gilmore, who makes the reception in the corner of the end zone. We are in the lead, seven to three in this ballgame. But there is six minutes remaining here in the half. This is Blake Bortles with a nice juke move on Cravens right there. Picks up a first down, but this is all coming back because of a holding penalty. So now Jacksonville is looking at a second and 25, but they're going to get this all right back because Blake Bortles is launching this one deep down the field, and this one will be caught by Green, and he is going to take this one to the crib for a touchdown, a 90-yard touchdown reception, you guys. Just found the hole in our defense. It was a bad play on my behalf, and then right here, Jimmy Smith just cannot keep up with Green as he ran straight past him on that seam route. An easy touchdown and we are now trailing in this ball game 10 to 7 so now we get it left we get the football back five minutes to go here in the half this is Logan Thomas dropping back and he tried to throw the football out of bounds but they will call an intentional grounder because we threw it to the left instead of to the right where all of our receivers were so right here it is third and 19 we initially picked up the blocks very well but one comes through free and he is going to force a fumble as Logan Thomas puts it on the turf it will be recovered by Jacksonville and they are now inside of the 10 yard line already so we're just trying to at least hold them to a field goal attempt here the first play starts off good right here it is third and goal trying to stop him and hold him to a field goal right here he lobs this one into the end zone this one was almost intercepted However, we can now hold on to the football and maintain possession through the, um, the duration of the play. So, they end up taking the field goal here. They get the three points. They are now leading 13 to 7, but they do give us four minutes here in the second quarter. And we're going to try to drive down the field and take the lead. This is Justin Forsett. He picks up a gain of six on that carry. So, now it is second and four for the Ravens. Still in that shotgun formation. Dropping back, finding Crockett Gilmore, but he fumbles the football. And Jacksonville, once again, will take over over in great field position so back-to-back -back fumbles not looking good not helping us out 
at all in this ball game. So Jacksonville now at almost in field goal range already, but right here they're gonna hand off to TJ Yeldon, and he will put him in field goal range with that nice tough run right there. That's gonna take him inside of the 30 yard line right here. It is second down. Blake Bortles looking. He's gonna find Allen Hearns, who makes that reception, and they are now in the red zone. So third and five. We're looking for another stop. Hopefully hold them to another field goal, but they will convert on this third down. So now it is first and goal. After we stopped him two plays, it is third and goal from the three yard line. Blake Bortles has all the time in the world. He will find Julius Thomas, who scores a touchdown off of the flat route. And you see right here, we are absolutely upset because two turnovers could have changed the, the course of this ball game. So now we need to do something, guys. Is under one minute remaining here in the first half. We need to get some points before halftime. Right away, we're trying to take a shot for Brashard Perriman deep down the field. And this football would be intercepted by Powers, the guy who we traded during the preseason. So he has some type of vendetta against us. Then right here, Blake Bortles drops back. He's going back to work, finding Green, who makes that reception. Now it is first and 10. Bortles drops back. He's going to find Allen Robinson, who makes this reception as well. So now it is third and two for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're looking for the flat route, but this is going to be Steven Tullock. Who jumps in front of that one, picks it off. He's trying to take off down the sideline. He will stiff on Blake Bortles, go out of bounds. And that is a great play because it ends up setting up a field goal attempt for us. But you see right here, a great interception by Tullet. And that is something we needed. We needed some type of points. Unfortunately, we cannot punch it into the end zone. But we would take the three points. And this also would take us to halftime. So, the score here is 20 to 10 Hopefully we can turn things around. We do get the football first to start off the second half. So first play from scrimmage, we are under center. We decide to go with a play fake right here. Logan Thomas is throwing this one deep down the field, and we are going to find Kamar Aiken, who makes that reception. And just like that, we are in Jacksonville territory. Then right here, we throw a receiver screen to Steve Smith. He gets a couple of blocks. He takes off towards the sideline before being pushed out at the 25-yard line. So things are looking very good here on this possession. We decide to toss this one out to Forsett. Nothing was there on on that play so he ends up cutting up and get whatever he could which is a loss of two yards so here second and 12 we'll go right back to the ground this is for set taking this one up the middle making this a more manageable third and three but here we're dropping back looking for crockett gilmore this one gets picked off by you already gets the powers again He's taking this one to the crib for a touchdown. And like I said, he has some type of vendetta for, tr for us trading him during preseason. And he is absolutely balling, doing things he did not do when he was on this Baltimore Ravens roster. So now we are losing 27 2 10 in this ball game. We need to score. We pretty much need to score right now. We're looking deep down the field for Perriman. This football gets tipped in the air, and this one will be another interception, you guys. So, three interceptions for Powers in this ball game, and they have opportunity to even expand the lead even more. So, Julius Thomas right here running hard, dragging some defenders. He picks up a first down on that play. And then right here, Bortles is going to find Green. He breaks out of one tackle, jukes out of another defender, and then he is gone, you guys. A huge play. For Green and the Jacksonville Jaguars, you guys, and things are just getting worse and worse by the possession. 34 to 10 is the score. You see us trying to figure stuff out on defense. We don't know what's going on. We're just looking at each other like, hey, that was your guy. You should have made the tackle. We don't know what's going on. We need to do something because right now we are getting embarrassed here in this matchup. So we're trying to go to the ground. We need to get something going. Justin Forsett, he gets a nice run right there. Now it is second and six. We are dropping back and we are going to find Kamar Aiken who makes that reception on the drag route. Try to defend her, um, try to hurdle two defenders. Almost did it. But then two plays later we find um, Buck Allen who makes his reception. Gets a block down the field and Buck Allen is gone. You guys, a 50-yard touchdown rush for us. And that finally just ends this little the spurt that we went into but we really could not score he gets into the end zone right here that is definitely good for us but we need to try to get in the end zone a lot more if we want to try to come back in this ball game but here come the Jaguars back on offense Blake Bortle he makes that reception right there or makes that completion right there first and 10 they're going back to Julius Thomas he's going to pick up a first down on that play as well so now first and 10 they hand it off to TJ Yeldon he breaks out of a tackle Duke pass another defender and then TJ Yeldon will end up picking up a first down on that great run by their running back so now it is second and 10 Blake Bortles has a whole lot of time just chilling in the pocket right now and eventually he is going to find Allen Robinson who makes that touchdown reception that is going to extend their lead once again and they are now over 40 points look at this catch is barely scooping it up before it hit the ground and they're up 41 to 18 six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter we're trying to get something going Justin Forsett on the slip screen he's going to get a couple of blocks now he's trying to get past one defender hits a back juke that buys him 
little bit more time before he eventually gets brought down at the 20 yard line. So now two plays later, it is second and 11. We hand it off to Justin Forsett. He takes this one up the middle. He will get a gain of seven. Now we're looking at a third and three. We see the pressure coming. We get rid of it. This is Crockett Gilmore who makes that reception. So now first and goal. We toss this one out to Buck Allen. He tries to cut up, but he will be brought down inches short of the end zone. So third and goal. We decide to toss it out to Forsett. He gets a block from the fullback, and he is finally in the end zone for a touchdown. So we pretty much lost this ball game, but we're trying to make it a little bit more respectable. But this play right here will just show you how our day has been going because TJ Yeldon is breaking off a 75-yard touchdown run, you guys. Nobody else is even on the screen from the Baltimore Ravens. That is an easy touchdown. Look at this. I was obviously using in Cravens. And I just got tripped up on my own teammate, you guys. Tripped up, fell to the ground. That was an easy touchdown. Like I said, that pretty much summed up our day. So we end up getting pretty much humiliated in this ball game, 48 to 24 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. We take our first loss of the regular season, you guys. We are now two and one on the year. Jacksonville, they improved to two and one. Logan Thomas was 17 for 23. 171 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions in this ballgame. Blake Bortles, he threw four interceptions on the other side. Forsett had 18 carries, 71 yards, a touchdown. Crockett Gilmore led our receivers with six receptions, 43 yards, and a touchdown. Then Steve Smith had three receptions for 37 yards. But pretty much got demolished in this ballgame. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and rock with um, TJ Yates in the next ball game. So you guys let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I'm thinking that's where I'm going to go with um, just to get a different change of pace at quarterback. He's just waiting for Blake Bortles, um, not Blake Bortles, <laughs> waiting for Joe Flacco to come back. So let me know what I should do in the comment section below regarding our quarterback situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. It will help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace. Thank you.